Hi third graders. We are going to learn about a new artist today whose name is Robin Mead. Um, she is an American artist who did her schooling in New York and then later moved to Georgia. Um, she does a lot of digital art, but she also likes to use acrylic paint and watercolor paints. And we are going to focus on her watercolor painting technique. Um, it's a very cool technique and she uses a lot of bright colors to make uh, landscapes. She likes to, to add nature into her paintings and she likes pictures with the ocean and outdoor scenes. So we are going to be making our own outdoor scene in the style of Robin Mead. I will do that demonstration in just a second. So what I'm going to do is start by um, working in the foreground, which means the front of my picture or the very bottom of the picture. These are the things that are going to be the closest to me. And in the front of my picture, I want there to be some land. I want to be able to see some flowers. Those flowers might be um, going off the edge of my paper because they are so close to me. Okay, again, you don't have to have flowers in your picture. I don't want your picture to look like mine, okay? Now, a lot of times what she would do, what Robin Mead does, is kind of do like a second line inside her flowers and other designs, so I'm adding that in as well. Just like this. And maybe I want a variety of flowers. Maybe there is some overlapping going on. Now, I want to add water into my picture, but I think what I would like is for um, some of this to be land. So maybe there's some plants or something over here, and then I can add my water up above this line. And a lot of times what Robin Mead does is makes these big waves. Um, they're kind of abstract looking, so they might not be what you would consider a wave and that's okay it's okay to make it abstract And for me, I would also like there to be some land in the background. Maybe some hills over here. And I want the sun. And when she makes the sun in her pictures, she makes sun rays that go all the way to the edge of the paper like that okay now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in a few more spaces in here Okay, so now that I've finished drawing, I'm pretty happy with my drawing. What I am going to do next is Sharpie everything. Um, and you're going to do that with a thin Sharpie for now. However, we may go ahead and thicken those lines later with a thick Sharpie just depending on how close together all of your shapes and everything are. We'll kind of go with the flow and see how it goes. 
and see if we need to thicken up your lines, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that now, and then I'll show you how we are going to paint. Okay, so I have finished sharpieing. I've erased all my pencil lines. Um, I am ready to paint. And I wanna remind you that she, Robin Mead, used a lot of the warm colors and a lot of the cool colors. So I kinda wanna think this through to make sure that um, my colors are popping out next to each other. I would hate to do like warm colors in the flowers and then um, warm colors in the background because it wouldn't really pop out all that well okay so I kind of want to think about that and maybe do like cool colors for this grassy area and warm colors for my flowers things like that okay so what I am going to do is Start with my lighter colors, which would be my warm colors. And I want to do those first because if I do the dark colors first, they're kind of going to mix with the warm colors and make my warm colors look sort of dirty. Okay. And again, you paint the color that you want to paint. Okay, so I would continue on painting and then once it's dry, I can go in and thicken those black lines if I would like to. I can add in little patterns with a Sharpie if I would like to. Um, but again, I want you to notice how like my flowers are popping out because I have warm colors against cool colors. Same thing with the sky. I can certainly tell that that is water in there. Um, so you get the idea. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know.